Yo. Man. Okay, I want to fetch water from this river, you see? I feel thirsty but I cannot drink this water, so I want just to use the water. But before I do that with this, let me address something. Uh, in the recent weeks, like the past two weeks, I have seen a lot of videos about Ayamarwa. Of course, Ayamarwa is one of big YouTubers in Kenya. Uh, and I've seen attacks from all over. Uh, both locally, mostly locally, uh, people from his village, uh, and a number of attacks come outside Africa and beyond Kenya. But after looking at these attacks, most of the people propagating the attacks, uh, they're just verbal attacks. Uh, I've realized they are people of African descent, people, people of African descent, like their origin is Africa. I have seen majority of the people attacking this guy, I am Marwa, are Africans. A very small percentage is of people outside Africa or the rest Africa. Now I'm wondering why are Africans have so much hate for their own African brothers and sisters? Why do we hate so much? Why do we hate our own people? Why do we hate people in the society that tends to do either well or better than you or people that have at some point held your hands people that have at some point come to your rescue or aid your life why do we have this kind of mentality that we have to attack every time for us to be validated in some way i'm not saying ayamara is a clean person I am not saying I am Marwa is a perfect human being. I'm not saying I am Marwa is always right. What I'm trying to say is I am Marwa is a human being and sometimes he makes mistakes. Even most of the time he makes mistakes. But his mistakes can be solved. They are not mistakes that cannot be solved. They are mistakes that can be solved. But we guys, we are taking it the wrong way. We are attacking this guy from left, right, center. Does attacking make us feel better? Does attacking this guy make us feel uh, enough? Does it make us look strong now? It doesn't. It shows how weak we are. How weak mindset we have. It shows how evil mind we have this guy at some point in life uh, mostly for these people uh, who are fighting with him at some point this guy was of help to you at some point this guy assisted you at some point this guy came through for you at some point this guy held your hand most of these people are YouTubers, I know. They are small YouTubers. There are others that might have not been helped by this guy and they hold the grudge. They make sure that they have to make sure that this guy goes down. But this guy won't go down and if he does go down, what, of what help will it to you? Will it be? Nothing. You gain nothing. If you have issues with this guy, why don't we just consult this guy uh, and solve our issues? Why don't we just meet this guy face to face and talk to him? Why don't we meet 
uh, people or friends, people close to this guy and talk to them. Tell them what issues you have with this guy. They can help you solve the issues. They can help you talk to this guy without going on camera to start complaining, without going on camera to start cursing and exposing, without going on camera to start blaming. I think the best way is for you to look for an avenue to contact this guy. Uh, put your complaints across. I know he might be a, a rude person in his own way. He might be uh, uncooperative in some way. But if you do, he's a clever person. I've seen him. I, I see how he talks. I see how he behaves. I see how he interacts with people. And at some point, maybe, this guy is not what you think he is. This guy is the right person. Maybe it's the right person for you to go to, to talk to than uh, coming here on this platform and talk a lot of things that should not come out at the first place. They're just making it even worse. I think the best way of solving issues is talking to the person you have an issue with. Instead of just making things get out of hand by exposing it to the world. When you guys were having problems, we were not there. When you guys were fighting, we were not there. Why should you expose this to the rest of the world? supposed to be something personal between you and him we are i know people are making content out of problems people are making content out of issues we have in the society you want to earn from the issues you have with another person instead of solving those issues so that you can earn decent money you want to earn from bashing other people you want to earn from cursing and castigating other people for what purpose? What do you gain? How do you feel about it? I think guys, we need to change. Let us just change. Let us change for good. Let us grow together. Let us have positive mindset. Let us hold one another's hand. Let us pull one another from the mud. Not pull them down. Let us be each other's keeper. I know you guys have your own faults and Ayamara also has his own faults. But that doesn't make you guys better than him. It doesn't make you guys uh, superior to him. It doesn't make you bigger than him. Life has its own way of rewarding things. And this might be one of those things. So guys, let us not take things out of hand. Let us cooperate. Let us work together. Let us uh, solve issues together. Let us make this platform a platform of order. Let us make this platform good for everyone let us make this platform uh, the online platform decent platform let us make this place be a place of equity and let us earn our income and living honestly let us not use this platform to cause hatred let us pull together and reason together let us develop our societies let us develop our villages let us pull together and help the needy people in the society let us not compete to our to do things let us do things according to our ability according to our uh, pocket size let us not force things let us not live a fake life trying to impress other people trying to somehow lie to the world that we we are who we are not let us do things the right way i am marwa i know you are a big name you are a big name in kenya especially on this youtube space you are a big name but at some point uh 
you are interaction with these small people, uh, especially people in need, that come to you for help, deal them, uh, deal with them with dignity, deal with them with equality, fairness. If you can't do something, then give a good reason why you don't want to do that thing. Don't brush off things for these people who are in need to think like you guys are interested to help those people that bring you something. You guys are interested in helping people that have something in their hands. Help someone because they need your help. Help someone because it is right to help them. Not because when you help them, they will give something in return. It makes your help somehow useless to some extent. But if you are helping with the intention of helping, just help. Give without expecting anything in return. Give without strings, with no strings attached. I think I'll leave it at this point. There are people that will feel bad about what I'm saying. But this is the truth. I don't want to make someone feel happy. Neither do, want, uh, do I want to make someone feel sad. I'm just putting across this message so that we have a better society. To live in we have good people in our society our friendship should not be based on what someone brings on the table let our friendship be based on the values we have as a society Okay guys, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. We meet on the next video. I do travel uh, videos, but today I feel like, yeah, uh, I need to somehow talk about this because it is getting out of hand. For real, it is getting out of hand. Uh, <laughs> I am next to the river here. I just did this water, I want to, to wash my face. And yeah. Let's meet.